I got a typical, but not pretty inspection on a 30 year home. What's the best way to start this conversation with my buyers to put them at ease? I know we're on a theme here and I've been preaching this for a while, but expectations. It's our job, right? As a realtor, whether we represent a buyer or a seller to give proper expectations. So if I know the home is 30 years old, right? And I know typically 30 year old homes may have some termites, some damage, some, it's not a brand new home. Let's be real, right? It's going to have some things that are wrong. And I'm telling you, brand new homes have problems that come up with the home inspections as well. So what I'd say is you should be setting this up for your, your buyer day one. Hey buyer, looking at 30 year old homes, I'm just letting you know, we're going to go through the process. I'm going to tell you, we're going to write the offer. We're going to get accepted. We're going to get the DU underwriting approval. And then we're going to have this contingency period where we're going to do an inspection. And during the inspection, a lot of things are going to come up. I just want to set the bar that you're going to have things that come up. Now I know you're a first time home buyer and you're, you know, you're going to look at them. They're going to look like they're really big items. That's my job, right? My job is to, to, to truly look at them and see how big they are and negotiate to try to get certain things repaired on a request for repair. But I want to be very frank with you. It's going to be full of stuff. It's a 30 year old home. And I don't want you to get discouraged, right? Because this is very normal. It's normal for these things to come. Like the, we're hiring this home inspector to come in so they can find everything because we want to make sure that you're, you're buying a house that's the, the roof's not going to cave in or, you know, the chimney's going to fall over. Now those are really big items and a lot of them are going to be small. Like guys, you have to set the expectation. So what's happening and what I see a lot of realtors out there are they're going to meet with their buyer and they'll be like, they'll just send the report. Here you go. I just saw this happen. One of my employees just purchased a home and he just came to me with his home inspection and said, dude, it looks like there's a lot of stuff on here. I'm like, well, hold on. I literally had to give him a bag to breathe in, right? <sighs> like he was crone crazy. I'm like, chill, brother, let me tell you something. This is very normal. And so when, one, I was pissed because the realtor should be doing this, but I'm now educating my employees saying, guys, relax. This is very normal. Your home's not a brand new home. And these things are very small. I mean, look at this. This is very small. This is normal. This doesn't even need to be done. It's just something they have to point out. I mean, I was able to relieve him, not even getting a commission guys, because he had no expectations. He got it forwarded to him. Imagine a first time home buyer freaked out, like completely freaked out. And they get a 32 page document with all these things that are wrong. When you and I both know they're very small, think about how they're going to feel. To me, you guys should be setting expectations. Number one, number two, you should be calling them ahead of time, letting them know you've reviewed it. Number three, you should say, hey, I've got a list of certain things I'm looking at. You're gonna look at them and let's talk in an hour after we, or let's meet in person. Like, I just get so frustrated. You can tell I'm a little fired up because this is so simple of setting up expectations. It is our obligation as realtors to, to over communicate, to set those expectations so our buyers are not afraid and so they're not shocked. I don't want them to be shocked. And I'm, I'm leading them along the way and dripping to them the entire process of the transaction to make sure they have the information so they're not freaked out. Does that make sense? So um, go out there and make it happen, guys. Under promise, over deliver. Like give them the worst case, bring them back down to reality when you, you're going to exceed their expectations. When here's, wow, this is a lot of stuff. But you know what Tyler set me up? He said this is normal. He said that we're going to get through some of this. I mean, that's what your buyer should be doing.